Am I the butthole? For dressing my cousin as MS and not doctor on a place setting and telling her to stop acting as if the world revolved around her degree. Posted by Melodic Bumblebee 3972. Throw away. Need some outside opinions. Me F28 and my fiance recently had our engagement party. It was mostly close friends and family and overall was an amazing time. We had play settings for everyone with their names on cards as well as their title MS, Mr. MX, etc. It was a formal event so that's how I decided to do it. It wasn't even that serious obviously. On my cousin's card it said MS, she has a doctorate degree and she came up to me at the end of the night asking why her card said MS and not doctor and also her partner is editing to add that thing. I said sorry, it's not a big of a deal, but she seemed to get upset and said I was devaluing her and her profession. I didn't want to deal with her right then and I had other people to talk to, so I just sort of ignored her and went on my way. Later, she texted and again she said how this was apparently disrespectful. I got kind of annoyed so I told her to stop acting like the world revolves around her useless degree and making a big deal out of nothing. Did you ever experience something similar? Feel free to share. And now to the comments. Venus 4938 likes to add. You the butthole. It was a formal event so that's how I decided to do it. It wasn't even that serious obviously. But if formal or not serious, those seem pretty incompatible. You specifically chose to ignore a title that probably took years to earn that can't feel good for a family member to do. She should have addressed it after the party, but I do feel like we're missing out on a lot of background here. Ida found the missing background. Two guests got to be doctor on their cards. How can you not be the butthole here? A madman with a plan likes to add. You the butthole. Why so you? One messed up her title. Doctorates don't always matter, but this is one way in which they do. She spent seven plus years earning the right to be called Dopt. Oh. Two, when she approached you about it later, instead of apologizing you insisted it didn't matter. Three, you ignored her and walked away cause apparently you were twelve years old. How hard is it to say oh sorry, it was an honest mistake. Incredibly rude behavior. I hope your wedding invitation spell your name wrong and the printer tells you it does not matter and stops returning your calls. A comment from Fapa Batwings. Info without any other doctors slash members of the clergy slash duchesses slash captains at strain attendance and did they have honorifics on their place cars. Sullev against Zero likes to add. Ile butthole if somebody worked their butt off to get a PhD. They deserve to be called a dopt. Noise proves nothing likes to add. You the butthole because you used titles for at least two other people asters come because of how you handled your cousin's query. It seems clear you didn't use her title deliberately to make some kind of point. Very mature. OP supplied this information in replies. Professor von Kumpunk likes to add. You the butthole. Doctor is the correct title, though a lot of us don't use it outside of work, some do. But the place card seems like a small oversight. Then you insulted her and her useless degree, at which point you are massively the butthole. Dear listener, if you like the videos I make, do consider liking and subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For calling my brother a terrible dad. Posted by May Cindy Threary. I recently went to the U.S. on a holiday. Normally, I don't watch American sports, but my nephew does. He once told me he's a huge fan of the Cleveland Cavaliers team, so I decided to buy him a jersey as a surprise. He really loved it. Then a week later I dropped by and he told me my brother gave the jersey to his girlfriend's son. I talked to my brother and he admitted he really did it since it's his girlfriend's son's birthday and he wanted to impress her. I was so mad I said to my brother I didn't know you were a terrible dad. Now he's saying I had no right to call him that since as the father he has the final say over what his son owns. He told me I should mind my own business. Was it wrong of me to insult him over that decision? And now to the comments. Trollette commented. Not the butthole. That was a gift given to your nephew. Your brother has no right to do anything with it. Calling him on it does not make you an H. Pancake Elbow likes to add. If it walks like a duck, etc. Your brother is a terrible father. He stole from his own son to impress a chick. What a low life butt. Not the butthole OP. You poor nephew. Call of the Blaze commented. Not the butthole. Not allowing your kids to have ownership of their possessions is traumatizing for most kids. Wouldn't be surprised if his kid cuts him off as soon as he is able to. Kindly Egg 7480 commented. 
not the butthole. He stole from her son to pretend to be a good person to his girlfriend. Disgusting. Realistic Yao 9997 commented. Not the butthole tell the GF where the prison came from that you gave it to your nephew. I doubt she'd still be impressed. Gagon likes to add. Not the butthole. Your brother is acting entitled to his son's things. The jersey was not for him to give away us because it was a gift from you to your nephew. He did not even pay for it. Don't feel bad for saying the harsh truth. Your brother is prioritizing his GF son over his own son. That's just sad. Check out our playlist that summarize all posts of a specific topic. You can find them in the description box. To the next post. Update Am I the Butthole? For running away from home? Posted by Throwaway Alaska 999. Original posts here, it's been a few weeks, but quite a bit has happened. I'll try my best to keep things concise. Once again, thank you for all your comments and support. They meant a lot to myself and my grandmother who says hello. Firstly, my father managed to find my post despite my efforts. He told my mother about it and she proceeded to blast me to the members of my extended family via social media, saying I made them look bad. She deleted the post a few hours later according to my cousins who support me. A few days later, during a meeting between my parents and myself, my grandmother and our lawyer, my father apologized to me, and I felt it was sincere. As for my mother, she was silently fuming. Matt was at their house with one of my aunts. They agreed with great reluctance on my mother's end to give my grandmother full custody of me for my remaining three years as a minor. The next day, my grandmother and some of my supportive family members helped me get what I had for belongings out of my parents' house. I didn't feel true relief until that moment. Now I'm trying to enjoy my summer. I'm hanging out with friends. Going swimming. I am relaxing. I'm finally reading books I bought three years ago that I never got a chance to read. I am planning extracurriculars for next semester and even planning a birthday party, my first in three years, for my sweet 16 in February. I'm also helping my grandmother around the house. I do chores, but this time I'm getting an allowance. Even my sleep has improved. It's a whole new way of living and it's kind of overwhelming, but I've never been happier. Hopefully this is the last time I post. I'm going to log off Reddit and go out with my grandmother for some shopping. Thank you all. And now to the comments. A comment from Flame of Prometheus. Enjoy being free, my friend. We need more grannies like yours. Good luck in life. Demon in Disguise 17 commented. I'm so... So glad you're okay and doing well and enjoying your life like you should have been. I hope everything goes fantastic for you and your grandmother. OP's grandmother, you are a very generous and noble woman and I wish you and your granddaughter all the best. A comment from My Beating Heartbeat. I am really glad you are living safely with your grandmother. Your grandmother truly advocated for you. I am glad you are not alone. I can't help but feel bad for your little brother. I hope your parents actually stepped up and are not taking it out on him. Hopefully, this was a wake-up call for your parents. A comment from X Riverfish for 1,557. So glad you're in a better situation and can just enjoy being a teenager. Have a great rest of the summer. A comment from the dog is the boss. Glad things worked out for you. One question. Did you get your documents, such as birth certificate and social security card? You will need those, and I don't really trust your mother. Poker Quilter likes to add. I love updates. Wonderful news. I admire you so strong, finding your voice and forcing a change. You will be a woman to be reckoned with, that's for sure. Enjoy your summer, and I know you will excel in school this coming year. Well done. To the next post. Am I the butthole? For having a baby shower and not inviting my pregnant ex. Posted by Ebony Salamander. So my ex and I are currently expecting a baby and she is 26 weeks along. I'm the last slash only person in friendship group and family in my generation and above who hasn't had a kid yet so everyone's quite excited and they decided to throw me a baby shower just for bants. They told me they wanted to throw me one and asked if they should invite my ex. I said no because well no. We've agreed to co-parent but we can and should keep some things separate if not necessary to include one another and this was just with my friends and family. So they threw me this baby shower and it was honestly quite some fun. It was all just jokes and bants. We had a great lunch, had some drinks, treats, and the gift giving. It was more of a celebratory party of me finally joining the parent club than anything. 
We took a bunch of funny parody type pictures of typical baby shower pH shoots like one with my stomach out and my friends were feeling the baby and one of me under baby shower banner with all the balance and gifts etc. These were obviously posted and my ex saw them and didn't like it to say the least. She thinks I am a dickhead for having a baby shower. One at all because I refused to throw her one or help contribute and two with her since I am not the one pregnant and apparently the photos were sexist and insulting. I get it but also don't think it's that big of a deal. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. Starlet Pies likes to add. I am going to go against the grain here and say you the butthole. You may contribute equally to babies are bringing in a future, but at the moment she is doing the majority of work and will be doing it for some time. Maybe even after the birth of the baby as she is breastfeeding. I understand that a future single father deserves a party with his friends and family and a celebration of his parenthood. But calling his party a baby shower as well, refusing to invite her, refusing to contribute to her party and parody photos all that taken together feel to be an extremely bad taste to me. I think she feels like OP, his friends and family are mocking her and undervaluing what she is going though and is about to go through. And I think she would be right in that. A comment from PBD1996 You the butthole. You say you want to co-parent, but this is the very first event involving your child and you are already fighting slash not co-parenting. You should have included your ex as this is a baby shower, not a baby daddy shower. The gifts are for your baby, not for you. Imagine when your child grows up and you show him slash her pictures of the shower. What if you slash she asks where their mommy is in the pictures? You will literally have to tell your child will, even though it was a baby shower, it was really for me. So I didn't invite your mom, even though she was pregnant with you. You absolutely should have invited her and had a co-parent baby shower. If you felt you needed additional celebration for being a father, you should have done something else, a barbecue, a vacation, a dinner, a brewery, etc. Aki you should have done something that wasn't in the form of a baby shower. What makes me the most sad for your ex is, it sounds like nobody is throwing her shower. So she had to watch everyone throw you a baby shower, while her and the baby get nothing. Edit, some of you are spending so much energy disagreeing with my comments slash asking me questions. I am not the one who asked if I was the butt. If you think OP is not the butthole, then leave him a comment saying so. Now, nice view, Moni commented. Oh, my dude, I'm an old woman and I'm okay with getting downvoted. But such you the butthole, you have a parody shower. WTHF, how fun for you. Really, while another human being that you don't even like or deal with incubates your child. Alone. Without the support of said child's father and his friends and their gifts, she gets, reads notes, nothing but she gets to read about your exploits all over social media. Have fun. I can't wait to see your parody labor photo shoot, your parody postpartum shoot, your parody milk coming in shoot, your parody colic shoot. It seems you're taking this whole parenting thing super seriously. You realize that this other human, the one carrying your child, is going to be in your life until you die, right? Not 18 years. Until. You. Die. Weddings, graduations, visitations, illnesses, grandchildren, your partners are her business, her partners are yours. This is another great start. I hope someone got you a parenting book. I can recommend some. And maybe some counselling for you and your new life partner. Because she is a life partner. You can trivialise her, make fun of what's happening. But a human is coming. That human and human gestating deserve more respect. Is she eating healthy? What are you doing to support her? Causing stress is not support. Rare Dub likes to add. I don't know, kinda. I think you did it more out of pettiness. She's the mother of your child, and having her there would be co-parenting. You should do what you can to help her because that's what's ultimately best for your child. Don't be surprised when she excludes you from future events. A comment from Just Kaskis. I'm gonna go with you the butthole the baby shower and the photos will look like you're making fun of her. No offence, but you don't really deserve a baby shower just because you've got someone pregnant like yeah have a night out before you become a dad, but an entire baby shower and refusing to help your ex of one is quite poopy. She's carrying your child and this nine months of her body going through so much trauma and you refusing to help with any kind of baby shower even as an ex is kind dickish. You've got nine months where you're not even with her while she grows your child like I think she deserves something for that instead of you getting the baby shower when you're doing absolutely nothing for the kid till it's born. L3XG commented. You're the butthole from the post, it sounds like she didn't get a baby shower, so I totally get why it's insulting. It also sounds like your friends and family would have invited her if it wasn't for your no. Maybe stop thinking of her as your ex and were the mother of your child. 
I don't think this story will age well when your kid asks why you had a baby shower and the mother didn't. If you like the videos I make, do consider liking and subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. I wish you a great day.